Hello everyone and welcome to the Trampled Satan live stream. Uh, I hope I have set everything properly. Uh, usually I have huge issues with rotating the camera whenever I go live. So hopefully this time I managed to get it right on the first go and it seems that I did. So yeah, uh, the idea behind this uh, this live stream is to actually attempt to create uh, an entire drawing from scratch. Hi, I, uh, Ixion, nice to have you here. Uh, so the idea is to have um, to create uh, the entire drawing from scratch. I have no idea how that will go um, because I have just realized that I will need wa water and I'll be right back. Hi, Richard. Hi, uh, Tangerine and uh, Red Film for a Tuesday, and Pizza Pasta. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> a lot of you guys jumped in at the precise moment. So I'll be right back with a glass of water, which I forgot to get. Okay, back. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Guy Fieri, I want to see your face. Uh, wish granted. And why does not that? Why doesn't it want to? Re oh, okay, we are back. So there it was. Uh, hi Barbara, nice having you here. So um, I will use these uh, watercolors that I have used today for a different uh, for a different painting. Um, I have no idea how it will turn out, and I suppose that drawing this will uh, go to the that slow because of course we will have to wait for the <laughs> we will you you guys will literally watch paint dry like literally uh, but it will be mixed media because i will also use ink because i need to draw satan somehow with an outline and we will have to wait for that to dry too so hi george and hi birdie a lot of you guys showed up i'm very glad about it so let us begin. This initially was supposed to be uh, me drawing uh, Christ presenting Eve uh, to Adam, um, basically acting as a Tinder, Tinder app. But then I realized that um, <clears throat> it would be very silly for me to actually uh, <laughs> draw two naked people during the live stream because, you know, it's drawing nude and it's drawing anatomy, one thing that I'm horrible at. So, um, hi, some guy. Hi, Bob the Awesome Man. Uh, and I think I saw somebody else. Hi, George Messenger. Nice having you all here. So, let us do this. Lord, help me. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually worried how this will turn out, but you know, you can't create something good until you're reduced to and we have the first means cap. You can't do something good until you're reduced to tears. uh the the thing is i already did this drawing ages ago uh, i will show you what i will be redoing essentially i just need to go to my main page one moment please uh, it will essentially have um, i use the word essentially a lot uh it will have satan being trampled on the ground uh, 
in uh, in the in the form of a snake, uh, and there will be footprints uh, in the sand. Uh, but as the footprints pass tramples, uh, trampled Satan, uh, they will have uh, nail uh, nail blood spots. So you can check the earlier version here. One moment, let me find the very okay. Here you go. This is the link. Uh, yeah, guy, that, that is how we spell it. Christos was Chris. Yeah. Vaistino was Chris. And it isn't too late, you know. Uh, that is perfectly fine. We say that uh, until ascension. Incadescent Laboratory. Orthodox Bob Ross here. Oh, hi, Incadescent Laboratory. I'm so glad to have uh, Orthodox Bob Ross here. Uh, Feel free to join in on the fun. Like, I'm so happy because Andre, St. Andre Rublev couldn't do the live stream. So <laughs> I guess I'm in a better position. <laughs> Hi, Jill Kecker. And hi, Doctor Who. Hope you're fighting those aliens or whatever happening, or whatever is happening on Doctor Who because I never watched the show. I do know about the Weeping Angels. Those are really cool. And I do hope that my guardian angel isn't a Weeping Angel. I, I mean, I definitely reduce him to ethereal tears here or there. Boy, I want you to answer my epic riddle. Well, epic me riddle then. I have a riddle for you too. Birdie bird, what got you into illustration art? Nothing special. I simply liked to draw a lot when I was a kid. Uh, I actually took pains to destroy most of those works because they were really really cringy fan art. Thank God at that time, I don't think that there was a word for fan art. Or cringe. Within me or without me, death is sure. But when I appear, I am life pure. What am I? Well, I'll Google it. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think of a answer <laughs> by the way I, I was never good at riddles once when i played the uh, mighty magic eight i did figure out an answer to a riddle and i felt to be the king of the world okay th th that no <laughs> no why why <laughs> that, that is why you put newspaper under these things <laughs> no Okay, well, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the answer to that riddle. Within me or without me, death is sure, but when I, I, I appear, I'm life pure. Is it there? But when I appear, why is life sure? Uh, can I say give up? Uh, the, the reason is uh, I need time to think, and if I think, I can't answer the guy. So I thought it might be water, but within me? But when I, but why? But why is it water? I, I thought that it might be water, but... Uh, Oh man, is it because of the birth? Uh, have you heard of Dr. Taylor Marshall? I literally only heard of him, but that's about it. Uh, 
why don't I use a fetter brush for block uh, for blocking in your base color? Because uh, <laughs> because this is the fattest brush I have at the moment. Otherwise, yes, I would use a fatter one, a more buoyant one, to say to say so. Taylor Marshall is watched online by a lot of Threadcat LARPers. Um, okay. I mean, I never watched him, so. So now we will use a little bit of yellow to make it more sandy. This is not how colors work. This is not how any, anything works, but by the way, this is the second time I think that I actually use watercolors. And the first time was today. So my art teacher told me that I, uh, I should practice a little bit. <laughs> she probably didn't think, you know, in front of a live audience. Hey, boy, what are my thoughts on go mad? What's go mad? I know what go mad is. I'll put a little bit of a yellow frame to make it more watercolory. I I commented to a friend of mine today that um, I think that. Um, Watercolor is uh, uh, he's a uh, he's a professional artist. He finished art school, and uh, he said that uh, he never got seriously into that uh, into watercolors, and they told him that watercolor is a medium for children, uh, inspiring quotes, and Instagram. You know those drawings of like um, a woman in a half profile with, for example, flowers or plants for hair and she has like these purple tears of space running down her eyes. People do these things with watercolors. So Felipe, hey Boyan, thanks for inspiring us with your great work. I'm starting a Byzantine theology course with a Serbian church priest in my country next month. Cheers. Oh, that, that's great, Felipe. I'm glad that you guys are doing that. And I hope that it goes well for the benefit of many. By the way, guys, uh, if you think that I'm doing something wrong, that's your problem. But honestly, let's say that uh, uh, I finished recording the next video. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Um, I finished recording the next video and it is 55 minutes long. So <laughs> I hope to post it tomorrow or day after. I have no idea because I have to... Keep comments to a minimum so people who have questions can get them answered. Oh, don't worry. I can still manage to... Um, I can still manage to, you know, a a answer things. So, I have to check how dry this is. Okay, I'll wait a little bit more. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really didn't think these things through. So, I will... have to get a napkin. B, what's your uh, geocaker? B, what's your favorite lift? Uh, it, uh, my favorite lift is uh, the one in my building because uh, it gets me to the sixth floor where I live. So that's my favorite lift.
Okay. My parents are going to kill me. <laughs> uh, in Shak Sultan, I've always wondered, are the viewers of this channel mostly Orthodox? Actually, I think that majority of them are Protestant, Catholics, especially Catholics. Because there's not so, um, so many Orthodox people in the West. And this channel is practically aimed for Orthodox people in the West, because it is in English. So, West and Australia. <laughs> Australia, the eternal exception to everything. Uh, account. Boyan, what are your thoughts on medieval art styles? I personally prefer the more symbolic art or realistic representation of antiquity and the Renaissance. Well, I prefer it as well. Uh, but, um, you know, I believe um, that uh, professional artists, and I'm not a professional artist, I, I, sorry, I have to check whether this is right and it's not. Um, I do think that professional artists uh, need to n need to do both, you know, uh, especially when it comes to like iconography and everything, uh, people sometimes have a misguided opinion that you you don't uh, need to know how to draw in order to paint an icon, and then they paint an icon, and you can see that they don't know how to draw. So, uh. hi, Owen. Nice to have you here. Hi, Philippe. Nice to have you here. Uh, is the Russian church in season with the Greek? How do I know which one is right? Um, Actually, uh, I made a video about uh, that issue. Uh, um, it's on my main channel. Uh, it's called Season Survival Guide. Um, um, you know, them being in season does not mean, at least yet, that one of them is right. So, well, this will dry soon, and then we will draw Satan. I, I don't know if you guys, but uh, he's like a bad guy. Okay, guy, uh, you just need to tone down on the, you know, problematic messages. Hi, Tem uh, Temesgen. Nice to have you here. Sebastian uh, uh, Petanczewski. Hi, boy, kind of a weird question, but considering that we eat animals and you know, cause a lot of pain to them in the meantime, in the meantime, why would God create us to eat meat? Um, well, you know, in the scriptures, um, humans are allowed to eat meat only after the flood. Um, and uh, I think that essentially, uh, hmm, it is a bit of a complicated question. Uh, and this is a very modern question, you know, like uh, maybe a hundred years more, you would only have such thoughts in like <laughs> some spiritual traditions of the East. Um, so, uh, this, is a this is the valley of death and tears. Th that, that is what it comes down to, you know? And uh, such, a, such a happy place to be is... Um, hmm, uh, we even we have to even devour plants, you know. We have, um, and in a way, we cause suffering to them too. Not, of course, of the scope of animals, but uh, I, I would have to think about that one. But essentially, this creation is really suffering because of uh, because of sin. So that is why we will not devour animals once uh, uh, after the resurrection.
Internet Hard Case. What are your thoughts on the evangelical belief of helping Israel? Do you symp- uh, sympathize with it, or does it, uh, or does this thought have heretical undertones? Well, uh, I think it is problematic because um, um, I believe that uh, the, what evangelicals are actually doing is try sort of to rush in the final hour. You know, man, this is really taking its sweet time. Maybe I should simply use this and like desert. Uh, I I think um, um, it is essentially based on a very problematic and faulty interpretation of uh, the Book of Revelation. You know, so I uh, I wouldn't say heretical per se, but problematic uh, problematic in the sense of uh, very literalist interpretation of the Book of Revelation. Birdie bird. Uh, have you been Orthodox your whole life? Um, hmm. I was baptized when I was eight. Um, my mom sort of insisted because it is a sort of a custom in Serbia, you know, to get baptized and everything. But, oh, no, 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 okay. Um, but, uh, and I got progl- progressively more religious as time went uh, went on. So I attended my first liturgy when I was 17. I've seen your videos about people converting, but do you have any advice for Protestants looking to convert to Serbian Orthodoxy? Um, uh, I'm just curious, uh, are you converting specifically to Serbian Orthodoxy because that is the nearest church? Uh, I would assume that is the case. Uh, Okay, this got blurry. I'm I'm trying to focus. Okay. Um, I don't have some profound advice. Just um, keep at it. I don't know how much your church is using English in its services. I hope it uses at least some. It might get uh, problematic or tedious. Um, I literally read a lot, pray a lot, listen to a priest. I have no like special magical advice. I get this uh, asked relatively often, as in, Oh, but uh, I'm planning to become Orthodox. Uh, um, do you have any special advice for me? I generally don't. I mean, I would like, uh, I would love if I actually had. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> this is my general Yelp when I uh, when I'm about to topple something off or. This is the wound. Jovan, uh, when was the name of the chapel where you served? Um, it's Chapel of St. John Chrysostom in um, Studenski Grad, but because of the COVID-19, uh, we are in the chapel of St. De- Demetrius at uh, Zemunsko Groblje. Uh, Ishak, I don't know really how much uh, about Orthodox opinion of Muslims. You guys chill with us, or is it more like Catholic relations? I don't know if I phrase this respectfully. I'm just curious. Um, well, I would say that uh, a lot of Orthodox are really not fan, you know, of Islam. But uh, I'll be quite honest uh, with you. Um, I exist because of a Muslim. Because um, during the Second World War, um, the neighbor of my great grandmother uh, warned her before there was a genocide in one of the villages in Bosnia. Uh, and um, sh- she managed to run away together with her daughter, with my grandmother. And uh, for that act alone, I think that that Muslim is high up in heaven wherever he is right now. So, but in heaven. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I believe that all of us, honestly, uh, need to look at people a little bit more outside of our religions, uh, ideological differences, and so on, you know? So. 
And well, so far, this is looking better than the original image, but I don't know if this will stick. And I think it is only the matter of time before I accidentally dip this pen into water. And Ishak, to be quite honest, uh, uh, I am no fan of like mocking Muslim beliefs, you know. Yes, I don't agree with them. Yes, Islam is very anti-Christian in the sense it is very explicitly anti-Trinitarian, um, iconoclastic, uh, and so on and so forth. But that is the domain of religious debates. We can still talk like normal people, so... Hi, Matthew. Nice to have you here. Uh, eternal Dreamer. Do you believe hell is eternal or is it just a great amount of time and eternal is only allegorical? Also, do you believe uh, like a place, uh, it's a, like a or situation or of soul level and how people will feel God's new world? I believe that hell is eternal. Uh, people generally sometimes... Um, uh, uh, people sometimes assume that uh, I don't think it is because, you know, I'm, I don't want to say liberal, that's a wrong description of me, I would say more happy-go-lucky, and uh, people assume that I, no, I believe that hell is eternal, uh, because um, I believe that uh, the choices that we make, uh, you know, people generally assume that hell is a punishment, like God sends you to hell and then you simply boil in a cauldron, but that's not what hell is. Uh, hell is basically you standing internally before God and hating it. That is what hell is. And that is why I think, believe it is eternal, because you won't start liking God. You know, if you didn't like him here, you won't like, them, uh, like him over there. So that's the gist of it. Uh, and um, as regards to the place, um, it is sort of difficult to an answer this because us Christians are the pe uh, are people of resurrection. We believe that uh, we will arise with our bodies, but these bo th those bodies will be these bodies that we have right now, but they will be transfigured. They won't be exactly the same. Um, so, uh, so I would assume that somehow the damned and the saved are separated in a way. Uh, I believe that um, Saint uh, uh, Basil the Great said that essentially at the resurrection uh, it's, it doesn't want I, I have problems with this one. that at the resurrection that the, at the general resurrection matter that was used for evil will be used to torment people in hell, and matter that was used for good will be used for the beatitude of the saved. But that's just, you know, one saint's opinion. Um, honestly, we don't know what it will be like. So, but I, I'm pretty, uh, honestly, I'm pretty certain that uh, it's not external things in hell that are the problem, but the state of your soul, which is hellish, if you are in hell, so... Thames again, Abraha. Why Orthodox don't believe in rapture? Um, I answered this uh, on the, my secondary channel, and simply rapture is a very novel teaching. Like, um, it wasn't present in Christianity um, for, like, ever until, I think, 18th, 18th century, when some evangelicals, I believe, or Baptists um, sort of um, uh, assumed that... Uh, certain eschatological events, that is, uh, events that relate to the last things, are separate. So, like, you have a rapture where um, the saved uh, sort of get easily off the hook uh, when it comes to... Uh, when it comes uh, to the Antichrist. Uh, and... Um, I sort of messed this up. Uh, and then you have... Uh, the tribulation, and then Christ comes. There's no such thing in rapture. 
Clodagh Bob, use a hair dryer. That uh, that's what I do. That is a great advice, uh, but uh, uh, but um, uh, using a hair drying dryer dur during a live stream is problematic. So. Oh man, you guys really okay. Uh, what the uh, internet hard case? What does the Book of Revelations mean to you? Some claim it was about the fall of Rome. Um, you know, it might be. Uh, I um, I don't obsess over it too much. It is essentially the book about uh, victory of good over evil. Uh, it is our book of our personal lives. It is the book, possibly and probably, about the ultimate uh, fate of the world. It might be about Rome as well. It's maybe about different cycles in Christian history. So. Plant Franklin, your drawing looks nice. Thank you so much. Jovan, that's that chapel without the Yes, Yes, that's, that's the one. Oh yeah, Ethan, I, I, will, I will read this out loud for people who are watching it later. Uh, advice to New Orleans, stay away from internet debates during the your catechesis and after for several years. Yes, yes, debates can get extremely toxic and for no good reason. Okay, time to draw the head of Satan. Yeah. Maybe this wasn't the best idea, but... I'm pretty good at having not the best ideas. Again, Abraha was Adam and Eve black and white because race exists. I'm not racist. We we have no idea what race they were. You know, when I was drawing uh, Adam and Eve, uh, uh, well, Adam more specifically, I uh, as he's being formed from the mud. If you pay attention, I, I draw all the skin colors on him. You know, just to represent that. So, guy, boy, I make icons. You got any advice? Practice and get someone uh, get a mentor you have to have a mentor who will uh, monitor you in person Jovan, what do you think about zealots um you know just getting too far you know once i was sort of tempted to join their movement but thank god that didn't happen i think uh, i think that would lead me in a very bad place spiritually to be quite honest as soon as i finish with this ink i'll celebrate <laughs> why doesn't it work Alejandro Atla, uh, Atla Miranda, he went, I've met the Serbian Patriarch, what are your thoughts on him? Um, I think that he did a great uh, work in the church as regards to administration, because um, some administrative policies of the Serbian church weren't that good previously, but uh, I think that um, his handling of uh, situation as regards to being too closely associated with our current government is really doing a huge disfavor to the Orthodox Church here in Serbia. 
and I'm not, and I don't appreciate the active persecution of uh, people who don't subscribe to the most literalist uh, interpretation of the Genesis uh, of, of the first chapter of Genesis. I I oppose that to that so much. Instrumental. How do we start liking God here? You have to be more specific. Hi, civilized German. Nice to have you here. Okay, well, we are in 35. It's been 35 minutes and this thing is going so slowly. I will never... <laughs> So now the paint comes. I will never, ever do this again. Actually, this turned out way better than I anticipated. Oh, we need a halo. What shall I draw Satan's halo with? <laughs> He was an angel, he needs a halo. Oh, I have a perfect thing for Satan's halo. No, it's too big. Okay, now that joke is, has failed. Sebastian, uh, I was cr uh, Christian and Orthodox, but I find myself often questioning whether or not I truly believe in the sense of second guessing myself. For example, am I truly believing right now or am I wishing? So it's kind of weird. What do I do? Actually, there is a life hack in the gospel for this. The way out of this uh, issue is simple. Uh, simply pray, Lord, I believe, help my, my disbelief. That is the prayer of a grieving parent uh, in the in the Gospels, uh, and it is a way for us uh, to basically escape that vicious cycle. You know, in order for us to be heard, we have to believe. But but how to be heard if we don't believe? And Christ simply says, "Well, just pray, and things will get fine." So, I suggest you do that likewise. Jovan, um, I don't want to get into specific uh, issues of the Serbian Orthodox Church, you know. Uh -huh, okay, so, okay. Instrumental has clarified. You said people who don't like God here won't like him in death, so we'll be in, in hell eternally. How do we get to like him if we find it difficult? Um, well, Christ says, uh, if you love me, you will do my commandments. And of course it will be difficult, because Satan here will try to make it difficult, you know? So, simply striving towards the Lord. And, you know, Guys, whenever you have a, a vicious cycle, simply say to the Lord, help me. Help me love you even if I find you difficult. Find it difficult. Help me believe in you even if I find it difficult. You know? <laughs> Draw his halo like modern art. Gray industrial looking polygons. Mm, actually, that, that will be rather interesting, you know? KG, hello from Turkey. May the peace of Christ be upon you, brother. Hello, KG. Thank you so much. Tom Fuller Incorporated. A while ago, I watched your video on the church in Montenegro. Has the situation changed much since then? 
Uh, I think it is slowly escalating, in fact. Uh, just one moment, I have to check how much of this in his right. Okay, I think we can go to paint Satan, but is this black? I think this is black. If this isn't black, then um, hmm, it will be interesting to see what happens. But also the issue here is that I don't have a gray, I don't have a gray um, color, and I sort of need it for demonic halos. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is brown. I don't have a black. Oh no. Oh no, there's no black here. Well, okay, plan B, I'll use tempera. Watercolors, mm -hmm. you have failed me for the last time. Anyway, uh, I, I want to answer your question, Tom Fullery. Um, uh, it, is it is escalating. Uh, there, are, there are tons of uh, processions being held in Montenegro in support of the church. Recently, they arrested a bishop for like supposedly breaking the social distancing laws, yada, yada, yada. But uh, then you literally had uh, people, you literally had uh, uh, huge protests, uh, you had people swearing an oath to liberate the bishop if he's not let go and so on, so things are escalating. This is literally the stupidest thing one government could have done. Literally. Anyway, sorry for bothering you, but eternal hell was always something that draws me a step away from the faith. I found I find you by your video from animals, and it was hopeful. Greetings from. Uh, well, you know, one thing I like about orthodoxy that it remains very hopeful. You know, so for example, um, one aspect of, or of orthodoxy that I really love is the fact that we can pray for the dead. You know, even if somebody is suffering in Hades, in the abode of the dead, in Sheol, how Jews call it. Um, we can still help them, you know, by our prayers and our good deeds and uh, acts of mercy and so on. So it's never, it's never like uh, totally over until it's absolutely over. So, word one regarding your last mouse video and Russian versus Greek chanting, the answer is Greek. Thank you. Uh, I just have to get that tempera. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is cheating, but these are literally two buck watercolors that I got in a kid's store. I think that uh, my art teacher would be borderline suicidal if, we, if she saw that they use these but it's technically watercolor so let's see how it delivers and oh thank god it's it's everything i ever hoped for instrumental i find it extremely hard to pray at this point i feel like i kept and kept praying but nothing has changed in my life so i feel like god has just uh, so i feel like god just doesn't listen this keeps me from praying. Maybe it's pride. The fact that you're praying is very important, you know. And if nothing has changed, maybe currently it is God's will for you, you know. Don't quit uh, prayer just because nothing is happening. Uh, remember in the Gospels, the parable uh, of, the, um, uh, of the persistent widow. And she goes to this unjust judge and keeps praying pestering him and pestering him and the judge is like okay fine i'll hear her case just so she would pass uh, stop pestering me and uh, he says uh, that um, christ says that um, 
even if an unjust judge like that in the parable uh, is willing to uh, uh, you know if a widow is willing to pastor an unjust judge judge how much more should we persist in prayer you know sometimes uh, god is uh, not hearing our prayers prayers in order to test our persistence so simply keep praying i don't know what are you praying for maybe you're praying for the wrong thing and you know if you're praying for something more specific to your situation uh, always end your prayers with uh, uh, always end your prayers with uh, may uh, may your will be done and not mine because we don't have the whole perspective like god does because god is outside of time john uh, you mentioned a specific vestment a reader wears only uh, on his ordination can you elaborate yeah uh, it's called a short um, philonian philonian being um, a liturgical vestment that only a priest wears during the liturgy but for some reason or other i don't know why readers used to wear these uh, and it's similar to priest philonian which is like a cape over the entire vestments uh, so priests used to wear these, but um, uh, readers, I apologize, but they don't. Uh, they no longer do. Uh, so these um, this vestment uh, is only worn by the readers during their tonsure, you know, when they become readers. So. High Imperial Russian Empire. Oh, nice that you're painting too, Mary. So, Sula is German. When are the Orthodox and Catholic churches going to reunite? I have no idea, and I'm not an optimist regarding that. I mean, I hope that they do, but... I believe that our differences in spirituality are sort of far too different. I thought when Satan demons were represented, they had human bodies. They, well, they could. That is how often they appear. But, you know, this is a scene from Genesis. And that is when uh, Satan appeared in a form of a snake. By the, by, by, uh, by the way, I believe that uh, the word seraphim, or seraph in singular in English, is etymologically associated with snakes. So it's probable that the order of the seraphim is a sort of, are some sort of celestial snakes of which Satan fell, you know, which would uh, explain uh, why Eve didn't uh, find it strange that uh, one particular snake decided to, you know, talk with her. Well, so far, so okay. Thames again, Abraha. Uh, so prayer can make someone get out of hell because someone living prays for the person that died. Well, there are a lot of visions like that, you know. Like a lot. And I believe that's true. Hi, Ilya, Ilich, sorry. Are leaders and kings anointed by God? Well, you know. They do God's work with more and generally and more often less success. St. Paul was pretty adamant about that.
Joe Kaker, uh, have you ever watched an anime? Uh, I did. Uh, Berserk, uh, Death Note, probably some others. I generally don't watch them. I mean, I don't have much against them, but... Just generally not a lot of time. Um, by the way, uh, thank you, Brandon. <laughs> I'll answer your question. Uh, uh, I'll answer very, very soon. Uh, John uh, Jovan, what do you think about the small bells that are rang in, uh, in the altar in some parishes during the Epiclesis? You know, even if this is a um, classical Latin influence, you know, using sanctus bells, I, I personally don't mind them. I, I, I like them because they emphasize the moment. So while I assume a lot of like more modern Orthodox theologians would disagree heavily with me, I personally love them, you know, so. But that's just, that's, that's just me. Imperial Russian Empire. What do you think gay? Um, I, I don't understand the question, so. Incandescent lab. Do you think devout Catholics are going to hell? No, I don't. I mean, it would be. I believe that it would be better for them to be Orthodox, you know. But just going to hell like that? No, I honestly don't buy it. I um, I can't believe, for example, Tolkien or Chesterton or Fulton Sheen or Mother Angelica being hell. It's just beyond me. I mean, the Lord knows our hearts and so on, but. Brandon, do you think that it's time for a new age of awesome, non-cheesy Christian media li like exists in the Middle Ages? If so, how should we go about it? Uh, can you be more specific in the sense, uh, uh, should we make like art that was uh, used more in Middle Ages? Is that what, you are, what are you aiming at? Bible is, do you believe that uh, consecutive carnal thoughts is an obstacle to reaching God? What is the solution when I confess and do this lustful flesh conversation with women over and over again? Um, uh, you know, uh, this is something I repeat, I think, in every live stream and in maybe in a couple of videos. But um, St. John Cassian, uh, he was an uh, early Christian saint. Uh, he went to these large pilgrimages um, to visit the Desert Fathers. And uh, he asked them uh, a sort of about this issue. And he said that um, uh, one of the saints of the desert told him that for a majority of us, uh, lust is the way to keep our, uh, to, to keep our um, pride in check in the sense of, um, yeah, in the sense that um, if we didn't have lust, we would get so prideful that none of us would get saved. So we get these recurring lustful thoughts because nothing puts us in our place regarding humility and pride and uh, whatever uh, than, um, uh, than lust. So simply, uh, so, you know, simply, uh, simply keep fighting them, you know, and ne never assume that you defeated them, you know. And whatever victory you do have, instantly attributed to God and God alone. We're all fighting them, so. Thank you so much, Brandon, by the way, for the donation. It's really well, well appreciated. So, uh Uh, by the way, uh, Brandon, contact me on Instagram on uh, Bible Illustrated uh, at Bible Illustrated um, or wherever, even in uh, uh, hearing the comments. Uh, so, because usually when I have a donor, uh, especially of a, such a large amount, I dedicate a drawing to them. You know, 
I can dedicate this one because it, um, it is already a patron image, but I can uh, dedicate a different one. So I would just, you know, need, uh, uh, you know, to arrange which one you would like. So thank you so much. How are you going to answer questions in live streams when somebody gets uh, 2,000 views, uh, 200,000 views, because everyone is going to be asking questions? Well, you know, I don't know. I, I'm afraid that like this format will have to go. So we will have to think of something. What do I think of gays? I don't think about gays. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's an old joke. Um, well, not specific. They are simply people who are tempted uh, in a different way from non-gays. That, that's it. Literally nothing else. And yes, some some people in the in the power are weaponizing those temptations. Before the modern era, we had a lot of great Christian media, but we fell off. Uh, I think that is um, generally an issue with um, uh, with um, oh, I accidentally gave Satan a larger nose or a nose horn, but okay, he's an ugly being, so I'm not going to apologize for him. Besides, his followers keep stealing our vessels for black masses, so go to hell, you old snake. By the way, in my ideal church, there will be a mosaic of Satan on the doorstop. So whenever you enter, you actually step on him. And that could be used for baptisms, like during the renunciation of the Satan. And in Orthodox Church, you actually spit on him. Well, you know, you turn towards the West, which is symbolically representation of, uh, of Satan, of evil, of darkness, and you spit on him. So there you have it. So, Brandon, yeah, I, I think that uh, we should be doing better as regards to art. And that is why I like Jonathan Pejoy so much. He's such an amazing artist, you know. And uh, he's really doing well to promote that ancient, uh, ancient Christian art through his work. We make a lot of fantasy, but don't base it on real Middle Age fiction. Yes, I know. I hate it when I see a basilisk that is depicted like a multiple, multiple-legged lizard, which is straight out of D and D. I don't like that, and this is a shame because I think that we really could do better. Jovan, Byzantine or Mokranian chanting? I like both, to be quite honest. I mean, Byzantine is like heavy metal, but Mokranian, I have spot, soft spot, so, soft spot, soft spot for it. Okay. How can I tell my family about praying to saints? They argue that it's not bad, just that it's impossible. Well, you know, uh, the elders in the book of Revelation were quite aware of what was happening on earth. So I believe that... that uh, uh, they can figure out when somebody is praying. Hi, Angelina. Uh, uh, I get a lot of questions about us Serbs and the saints. I find it difficult to explain that we don't worship them, but honor them. Do you have any advice how to explain? Uh, the best advice there is to simply, uh, in this, literally the same way, uh, like, um, uh, in the literally the same way Protestants uh, ask each other to pray for them, and the Bible tells us to ask other people to pray for them. Um, in that manner, we ask the saints to pray for us. That 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 is the best approach. So uh, they uh, and you should emphasize that they don't hear us apart from God. Like for example, if I pray to Saint George, it's not like um, I said that uh, in in the video of saints and necromancers. 
It's not like St. George hears me first and then the Holy Spirit hears it. No, uh, St. George hears me because um, um, uh, because he's in Christ, you know. He hears me uh, through the Holy Spirit, uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's get that halo rolling. You ancient serpent. So what's a black mass? Well, it is a satanic rite that is a parody of the Roman Catholic mass. Where, where Satanists usually desecrate a consecrated host that they stole from a Catholic church. I mean, I suppose that they could do the same with like Orthodox communion, but I haven't heard about such cases, but I did hear about um, Orthodox vessels getting desecrated. I mean, God being merciful, I would make a pretty poor God, to be quite honest. Brandon Taylor, what's his name again? Oh, I, I forgot what I was... Oh, Jonathan Peugeot. Um, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, I will type it. And he has recently hit uh, 80,000 subscribers, and I'm so happy for it. That is Belmont. Did I miss the stream? It's still going, going. But uh, I will probably finish up soon because it is five minutes after midnight and I have to go to the liturgy tomorrow. I mean, I don't have to, but why miss out on the good stuff? Jovan, is an afro red allowed in your chapel? Yes, it is. I sort of regret doing the halo because now it sort of looks cluttered, but it is what it is. Clogger, what? Why are you giving Satan a halo at all? Uh, I usually draw him like a dark gray halo, which is a very bad indicator on icons. I mean, uh, on icons, uh, in absolute majority of cases, you won't uh, see a halo on uh, Satan, uh, but uh, on some medieval art, you might see a black halo on Satan or Judas, so. I'm just going for a touch of red. Thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you so much. How's life? Well, so far, so good. I'm having a lot of issues with um, acid reflux. But I hope to go for a checkup real soon. Uh, Mary Cruz, I have a question. What is the best way to explain the Trinity to people who don't believe in it? Or don't believe that God is three separate persons but one? Um, I will start by explaining that God is love, and that is a concept that a lot of people can, like, get behind, you know? Uh, but uh, then I will say that uh, we believe that God was always love, he didn't become love uh, when he made the first human being or first angel. And that um, 
he had to be love before all of eternity and the way god is love before be, uh is love uh, before all of uh, all of eternity is that he's a trinity of three persons each eternal co-eternal and one and uh, then i would say that we simply cannot understand god that uh, he is beyond our human comprehension Uh, do I believe that Satan can give people powers, or was that medieval superstition? Well, he literally carried Christ to the desert. You know, can, can you imagine that? How creepy that image is! Uh, Satan carrying Christ uh, on the roof of the temple. You know, so I believe that uh, they are. I believe that they are that they can give some sort of uh, power to men, but. Uh, you know, these, um, the primary power that Satan gives to people isn't of supernatural, even, isn't supernatural, even though it can be, but it's rare. Uh, it is usually um, the power to destroy other people through abuse, backbiting, gossiping, uh, literal wounding, murder, uh, lies, and so on. So, Eternal Dreamer, what do you think about demons? Uh, are they the creators of material world or hiding behind the physical phenomena? I don't believe in it. I know it is a Gnostic notion, but why Christ said Satan is the ruler of this world? Because uh, uh, because this is a fallen world where Satan... Uh, oh, sorry, I have this beeping sound in my head. I just got it, sorry. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to finish uh, here because um, I have to draw the... I have to draw like, but maybe I don't. Okay, no, I'll finish the illustration. Um, but I don't need the kids. Okay. Um, I don't believe that um, uh, this world is ruled by sin. And where sin is, that is where uh, Satan is king. Look at the world. Majority of it isn't Christian. What is Christian, you know... How many of them are orthodox? How many are heretics? Of all of those Christians, how many are devout? You know, um, and even if we have a good Christian, uh, how often does she or he fall? You know, so uh, that is why the Lord says that uh, Satan is the king of this world because we live in a world where simply evil rules and every time you open a, a new site whenever you turn on the tv whenever you um uh you get you you're literally spammed with why this is for example that plane that crashed um, uh, two days ago in pakistan that's the work of satan you know maybe it wasn't satan like personally like you know, kicking down the plane, but, you know, causing uh, such a tragedy, definitely a work of Satan, so. Agency, are you familiar with the work of Maxim Sheshukov? Oh, if this is the guy, oh, one moment. Oh, that's him. Oh, thank you. I love his icons. Yeah, they're great. Okay, he wasn't that person that I had in mind. Uh, Cl Clodag Bob. Uh, sorry, I really don't know how to pronounce your, your username. Use a damp sponge to lift some of the color out. Eh, it, it is what it is. Uh, I'll get uh, more professional with sponges and so on later on. Do I like avocados? Uh, I'm not a fan of them, but when used in smoothies, then they're great.
Okay, Brandon, you will get broke if you continue. I mean, uh, thank you so much, but um, <laughs> he's up on the wallet, you know. Uh, thank you so much again, but... Um... Uh, have I got a public Discord? No, uh, I only have it for, like, patrons. Because if it were public, then I would have to invest time to moderate it and so on, and... Uh... And that is where the issues then begin, so... I was trying to explain icons to one of my protestant friends and they uh, then out of nowhere he asked me if I, he drew Mary as a stick person and he got it blessed, would it be an icon? Well, technically, yeah, but he wouldn't get it blessed, so... Michael, uh, Brandon Taylor, I uh, I say to give Michael uh, Heisner a re read, particularly his book Unseen Realm. I will. I, I Actually, I think somebody already mentioned it before, but I will have to double check. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, oh, no, this is the wrong color. Oh, yeah, I don't have the green anymore. I don't have the black, so... This Satan is very messy, but then, again, he's messy. Mary Cruz. But then some people say that they don't believe in the Trinity because it's not in the Bible. It is. God says, let us, let us make a man in our image. The seraphim say, holy, holy, holy is Lord of hosts. You have Christ saying, baptize all the nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Eternal Dreamer. Do I like fa Hi, Shadow Reader. By the way, Shadow Reader, I checked out your channel and I noticed you had a uh, much, you know, um, much lower subscriber count than I uh, recalled. So what's up with that, man? Uh, how would you, uh, some guy, how would you go about explaining certain things in the Old Testament that would seem confusing to modern people? For example, my, my agnostic friend asked me about the topic of slavery in Exodus 21. Um, to be quite honest, I, I would have to check what Exodus 21 says of slavery. Uh, but um, I also suggest um, you uh, watch a video by, um, uh, by, by Dennis Prager. He's a conservative Jew. But he had amazing comments on uh, on uh, on the, uh, the issue of slavery that were really enlightening. Uh, slavery is simply uh, the way uh, the way uh, society worked once and. Uh, I wouldn't say it's much, um, I wouldn't say that um, like um, those passages are a huge problem in Christianity. Internet card case. Do you, if you had your way, is it moral to force people to convert like many kingdoms in, in history? Personally, I don't. I don't believe it. I believe that uh, Christ should be only accepted by an honest heart. I think it's wrong. I mean, uh, God still used those forced conversions for good in the end, but I don't agree with the method. But then again, uh, bear in mind that that is how things went throughout whole history, and not only with Christianity. I'm sorry to hear about your uh, channel, Shadow Reader, but I. Uh, I hope. Uh, this one will get better.
Mary, if they don't listen to you regarding the Trinity, then simply pray for them. You know, that is the only uh, that is the only approach to have when somebody, you know, ter turns uh, a deaf ear to what you're saying. You know, simply explain the best you can. Uh, Christ says that he will give the grace, you know, to, uh, to people to respond. And if you did, um, and if they didn't listen to you, remember, Christ, the eternal word of God, uh, he who knows all the possibilities, there was a nothing he could say to the high priest for them to to, uh, to let him go. You know, he he uh, he he says it himself. Regard uh, regardless what I say or what I do, you won't let me go. When Christ says that, that's mean business. You know. When the ultimate chess master of the <laughs> thank Claudak Bob, uh, uh, hi Roll, thank you so uh, uh, welcome to the. <laughs> Why is everything crumpled to ash? <laughs> this box of colors is really great, but man, they it's difficult to open like lemon configuration in Hellraiser movie. <clears throat> um, I think it was the rules of, of how to beat them. Um, you know, um, okay, this isn't really politically correct to say, but as because it deals, but then again, it deals with Old Testament, so eh, whatever. If there are no rules how to beat them, then people can easily kill them, you know? It's... Uh, <clears throat> so... By the way, Eternal Dreamer, I agree completely with this. Uh, you know... Demons might as well cause it, but then God still allowed it to happen. And it's true. Because God can and does use evil for good in the end. But he does not cause that evil, but he uses it when it does happen. High roll in the case. I, I forgot if I... I've been doing a lot of digital art recently. I was thinking about... Oh, shucks. <laughs> By the way, Roll, why do you have a pie? I, I mean, uh, do people who pay a super chat, do they get, like, ability to choose? I mean, pie is really good. Do you have Netflix? No. Uh, hi, uh, Smee Smee. I love that username, by the way. Hi, Boyan. I told my religion teacher about your channel, but unfortunately he doesn't know English too well. Hopefully he will learn it by listening to you. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I, I'm afraid that he will get the accent. Okay, guys, stop. S stop. Uh, uh, can I turn it off? Okay, I can't. Okay, guys, it, it's really nice, all, all the things that you're doing, but stop. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tangerine and Clodagh Bob. Clodagh, Bob, uh, Tangerine, leave a comment in this video. Like, literally, even if it's a dot, there's a reason for it. So, leave a comment in this video. And hi, Nicholas. Glad to have you here. Okay, now, let me draw, draw the those uh, footprints in sand. Okay, this is uh, well, Tangerine, you're shy. Well, you're clearly not shy enough uh, to not to have your name popped up on the top of the super chats. <laughs> By the way, we have like we have like thirty three people here. I don't think this has ever happened. But then again. Um, I think that uh, doing these live streams on this channel was a good choice. 
Okay, so here goes nothing. Does this look like a um, footprint to you? Well, it's passable. Uh, Nicole, is that a temperate drawing? No, this is um, uh, this is um, uh, actually actually uh, this is um, uh, these are watercolors. It re it sort of looks like feet, so. Painting ASMR. <laughs> I can't spell. Painting ASMR. I know that word. Why, why can't I pronounce it? Painting creepy sounds when. Um, well, this is it. George Messenger. I love your YouTube channel and now I love watching your live streams too. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for being here, guys. I have the best audience ever. Take that, Satan. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this foot is bad, but we can fix it. Have I ever been to Ostrog? Yes, I've been. Uh, yes, I have. By the way, guys, if you don't know, uh, Ostrog uh, is a famous monastery in Montenegro, uh, where the relics of Saint Basil of Ostrog are located, and it is one of the biggest pilgrimage uh, sites um, uh, in Europe. And I believe that like um, ton of people visit it uh, every year, and for a good reason, uh, I would say. It is truly a miraculous place. Shadow Reader, I wonder what a creepy past about you would be like. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I like leeches, so it would probably involve one. <laughs> Actually, this is watercolor. What am I? When I can simply like do this. By the way, eternal eternal dreamer. By the way, <laughs> eternal dreamer. I keep wanting. Uh, I keep uh, wanting to read your username as um, uh, eternal darkness because that is a video game that uh, I really like, but I never really really had the chance to play. I so I simply watched playthroughs. So, <laughs> internet hard case. Is it possible to seek out and ally with Satan, or does he see seek you? out only well you can try but you will end up in hell like even if even if satan rejects your aggressive flirting 
<laughs> it's payday. I'm feeling rich until the bills come in tomorrow. I'm thinking, thanking you for such enjoyable content. And thank you. And uh, enjoy it while you're broke and unable to pay those bills. I'll be praying for you. <laughs> oh, wow, Tangerine. Wait, wait uh, are you here in uh, Serbia or Montenegro or Balkans? Nicholas Papas, what movies do you particularly watch? Horror movies. I really like those. I shouldn't, but I do. Thank you so much, Dan. It, mean, it really means a lot. Rol Romero. Why does Satan have a dark halo? Well, because he is the prince of darkness. Tedius Belmont. Leeches with double E or leeches with I? With I. The anti-halo, yeah. What kind of deep fried food would you most likely want to try? But like breaded uh, meat. Uh, do I have a physical Orthodox calendar or do I go to the internet? I, I used to have like a physical calendar, but now it's mostly internet. Smith me, when you won't be able to wake up tomorrow for liturgy, if you stay up late and all Babas will get in line for that bread before you just think, oh, don't worry, I can be super functional even if I have two, uh, two hours of sleep, but then I have to have a nap. Hi, Matthew. Uh, we were just wrapping things up. I mean, this, uh, this is finished. I think it looks better than the older version. So... What's my opinion of the Holy Fire Miracle in Temple of Jerusalem? Uh, I answered that in my most recent Q&A, Q&A 9 on my, uh, on my uh, main channel. Tangerine, if you ever come to Belgrade, drop me a line. By the way, this goes for all of you. Drop me a line and we can have a coffee or something. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, Th these are these letters I can't pronounce. Once I wrote to you on Facebook asking you what to, to do and not to do on Sunday. I wish you make a video on it. I will. I apologize. I do try to make videos on all of things, but, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shadow Reader. To be quite honest, I'm really curious to see it. I just have to publish a video on Bible Illustrated Hands. Guys, this was really great. And here it goes, okay. Uh, Israel Harkis, what's the best version of the Bible to read in English? Um, well, um, hmm. I like New King's James Version. I like, um, I like King James Version. Uh, I heard that English Standard Version is really good and Orthodox Study Bible. And thank you so much, Journal Dreamer. I hope to have more of these soon. Uh, do we like cats as much as Russians? Um, we do like them, but definitely not as much as Russians. I think that uh, that is a big... Uh... By the way, this is the final version. I will assume it like this because. Oh, there's you. <laughs> Looks better than the old version. Still can draw draw those feet to save my life, but. Uh, 
Are there resources for making your own your own prayer rope, or is this just a practice for monastics? I want to purchase one, but I can't afford the extra spending right now with everything going on. Um, you can make your own, so it's not only for monastics, uh, but I think it is very tedious to make one. So I suggest uh, that you maybe get a rosary if it's uh, cheaper, you know, just uh, until this whole thing's blow, thing blows over. So, Nicholas Papas, opinion on atheist countries with no state religion. Opinion is bad. Uh, guys, I have to go. Uh, I will scan this and upload it right now. Um, how do I upload a video while live streaming? I got a notification right now. Bye!